Hi guys, Chris with GP Knives. Today we're gonna go over the Benchmade 748 Narrows. It's a brand new titanium built knife from them. Uh, one American made knife of the year at Blade Show this year. Been a little controversial, had a lot of opinions about this knife come out. And today we're gonna jump in in depth on this knife and check it out together. Let's take a look. All right guys, um, so we're gonna take a look at the Narrows here today. Uh, and some reasons why it won American Made Knife of the Year, I think is pretty cool to check out. So uh, this is the thinnest frame that, that Benchmade's ever made. It's like, it's a little over a quarter of an inch, um, just in thickness in the handle alone. So, so they went for something really thin, really lightweight, ultra premium, everyday carry knife. And a lot of people are concerned about just the price point on this. It is, it is up there in the Sebenza range, which we all understand. But we really need to want to look into like in depth of the reasons why. So. Like I said, super thin titanium. I mean, I don't know how many knives are out there that are that thin, it's super thin. And they actually upgraded the axis lock on this knife. So guys, they ditched the steel liners and the traditional Omega Springs for a torsion spring setup, which gives it this amazing fidgetability, super smooth action. So these axis lock points, it's kind of like a machined texture on this lock here. You can really get a good grip on it and grab that. You just pull it and man, it just drop shuts. Um, so amazing functionality on the Narrows. Really love that about it. For the blade, traditional drop point blade, it's made of M390, which is super nice, ultra premium, thin, slicey, um, definitely a great everyday carry knife for sure. So some neat features on this is the titanium has these pockets on the outside. So it gives grip, you know, when you're holding your hand, fingers fit really nice in those pockets. It's not just that smooth titanium you might be used to on other knives. Really like that, really love the pop of blue. Um, so you got these real small, kind of thumb studs on there, which you don't even need to use to open the knife, but you can if you want to. Um, so blue hardware, this nice deep carry blue pocket clip, which is really sweet. Um, just really well accented knife on here. And what we're gonna do for you now is we're gonna compare it to the bug out. So I had a lot of people at the show, uh, Blade Show actually want to compare this to the bug out. A lot of people were just like, how, how can it be thinner than the bug out, right? Well, it is. <laughs> so this guy's like, a little over a quarter of an inch, and the bug out's actually almost half an inch thick. So you'll be able to tell in some of this video here that of exactly the difference on that. I think the blade stock's even thinner on, on the narrows. So they really went for that narrows uh, on the nose uh, uh, naming for this one for sure. Um, but it is really thin. I would say it feels almost as light as the bug out. I think it's under two and a half ounces, something like that. So you get a lot more knife here though than, than you do with the bug out. It's about 1.9 on the bug out weight and almost uh, like 2.4 ounces, I believe, on the narrows. So it's a, narrows is a little bit heavier than the bug out, but you get that upgraded material. So you get that, that contoured titanium real smooth around the edges as, a, as opposed to that polymer you know, that kind of plasticky feel that a lot of guys say about the bug out. So definitely an upgrade there. Um, overall, the, the Narrows itself is uh, eight inches. So it's 8.02 8 inches, just over eight inches overall. And you can see how it's a little bit bigger than that um, on the bug out cam there. <laughs> um, so we also have a 3.43 inch blade. So that's pretty much in the sweet spot for a lot of guys. Almost three and a half inch blade is really great for slicing. Uh, cutting just about anything daily that you'll need to do for sure. So the Narrows is actually only a little bit bigger closed than the bug out, honestly. It's about four and a half inches, a little over four and a half inches closed. Um, so you're really not sacrificing a whole lot there. In fact, it has the exact same deep carry clip on it. It's just blue instead of black. Um, so a lot of fans of the bug out are probably going to be a big fan of the Narrows if they want to step up their, their everyday carry game. I can see that definitely just looking at them because it has a lot of similar features. You're just getting better, you know, more premium. You got the M390 steel, nice and stone washed. You have that really, really lightweight titanium that you're not going to be able to break. You can't hurt the titanium. Um, it is like a kind of a, like a blasted finish to it. So that should, you know, give you some character over use over time. And also, I mean, if you, you felt like it, you could anodize it any color you wanted. Um, that's the nice part about, my, about titanium. You can just make it anything you want. So definitely an upgrade from the bug out premium everyday carry pocket knife from Benchmade. So finally, about the Benchmade Narrows, it is in that price category of the Sebenza and like say the hinderer um, level of pricing. And I know a lot of people feel that they get a, basically a more of a near custom knife in that price range. Um, but this thing is, it is worth it. It's, it's definitely built uh, to those tolerances. And I would say that everyone that, you know, we've taken a look at here at the store, it's just, it's as amazing action, well-centered blades, 
Um, strong lockup, like zero play on these things. And, you know, it's, it's less materials, but it was intended that way. It has an intention. The Narrows wants to be very thin and very light, and that was what they were going for, and that's, that's difficult to do. Um, I can't think of a thinner titanium that I've ever seen, um, American-made with premium steel. I think it's, it's definitely worth it. It's a great knife. Um, overall, it's, it's been selling well, so you're definitely going to want to check them out. It's on our website right now. Um, comment below. Let us know what you think. We really want to know. Um, do you have one yet? Have you tried one out? Um, I'd love to hear feedback on what you guys are thinking, carrying it every day. Um, is it holding up to task? Stuff like that. So definitely let us know. We want to hear, we want to hear from you about the Narrows. Even if you don't like it, we'll hear that too. Um, but it's a really cool knife. It, it won an award for a reason. It's very innovative. It's very future forward thinking for, for pocket cutlery. And uh, just let us know. All right, guys. Well, that's it for the Benchmade 748 Narrows from, from me, Chris, at GP Nimes. Uh, like I said below, definitely check out a link to the Narrows on our website in case you want to pick one up. Uh, we have other links down there to our socials. You should definitely sign up for our newsletter. That's where you hear about the coolest stuff from GP Knives. And let me know what you think of the Narrows. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Have a good one, guys.